All right, today we're gonna sample with the Kong drum designer. And the first thing we're gonna have to do is set up our mic and make sure it's plugged in right. So you're gonna wanna create an audio track and then make sure you select in this drop down box where the mic is coming in from, which for me is line two from my fast track. Now, if you're having a mono input, then you're gonna wanna show insert effects and right click create spider audio merger and splitter. And then we're going to want to flip the track by pressing a tab and take this insert effects left into the A left on the spider audio and then take this first slot here and which if I had it unplugged I would drag it right up here and this right here which is the second slot I will drag up to the right and it's as easy as that and when we flip it around you're going to see that the green is now lighting up. So we're going to come down and create a Kong drum designer. Now we're going to right click, initialize patch, come down a little bit more, and this drop box right here will show drum and effects. And we're going to open up a NN Nano sampler. And you see this button right here is the sample button, which will record to drum 1 because we have drum 1 selected. And the hit sample is on 1 right now where you can select 2 three and four hit sample one two three and four correspond with hit type over here one two three and four so we're gonna select one right now and sample and edit that sample okay I'll save that so you can see there's kind of a delay there. There we go. Now we're going to hit sample number two and record that. And we'll edit that, see how that turned out. Normalize that. I'll reverse it. What the heck? Might as well. Uh, let's take out that right there. Okay, that will work. So, since this is sample 2, you're going to have to select hit type 2 to play it. I'm going to go back to hit 1. Now we're going to click on drum 2. We're going to hit the drum assignment 1 and then hit 2. And the whole point of taking these individual hit samples, if we were to edit this down here, such as the decay, or the pitch, when we would come to drum 2, everything would stay the same and we wouldn't have to change it each time. And you can reverse them down here, which would reverse everything. So you can go all the way to 4 and keep coming through here and selecting 3, 1, 4, 1. Just like that. So these are all on drum assignment 1, just changing the hit types because since we would sample everything in this 1 in, in nano. But you could do all the way up the pad, opening up several different ones, creating 4 at a time with 4 adjustments or you create another one with brand new adjustments all on the same line. However, it works for you. And that's all you have to do to sample in Reason 5 Record 1.5.